Congratulations on your new film, Blink Twice, which is now in theaters. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so tell us what initially attracted you that you wanted to be a part of this project. Um, well, I read the script and I hadn't read anything like that. Uh, and I think it, I took it almost like a challenge. Uh, and I was like, I have to do with them. It made me nervous. It made me feel something. And, and I just kind of jumped on it. And, and then the fact that Zoe was directing it and we had an initial conversation, I auditioned for this. It wasn't sort of given um and from our initial conversation I just trusted in her blindly I, I she had a very very sure and way of making this film she knew what she wanted and it's always surprising to hear this but a lot of directors don't know what they want and Zoe knew what she wanted and spoke and guided me through the tone of the movie and I never worked in that space where tonally it's shifting constantly. And I found that really interesting. And I, I, I was like, I just, I have to do it. <laughs> wow. That that's actually excellent to hear. And I love these type of films. I have so many twists and turns and I, and I wanted to say the biggest twist is that uh, marketing didn't do you justice. You have much a big, a bigger role in this film than I actually thought. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess marketing people should, you should ask marketing people that, I guess. <laughs> now, I, I love the type of roles that you actually play. Um, tell, tell, tell us about the this role that you get to play and you're not afraid to get down and dirty. Yeah, Sarah is not afraid to get down and dirty. She plays an ex- um, reality tv star who was in like a show similar to like survivor or something and her skills really come in handy at the end of this movie um you want her on your side and and yeah it was it was it was a lot of fun i i tend to be more on that side i like you know the, the physical element i love boxing i love hiking I, I tend to pull more towards that way so that was probably some of the most fun i I had aside from all the dinner scenes. <laughs> do, do, do you feel bad um, when you're playing um, characters like this and you're wearing practically all white and through a lot of these scenes? I, mean, I, 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 I would I would feel some something about, you know, getting down and dirty and wearing white <laughs> through through these uh, parts. Oh, I loved it. That was one of my favorite parts, because then you can see on my dress that I get down and dirty. You know, there's proof that Sarah's a badass at the end of it. You know, Naomi's dress, all the girls' dresses are just destroyed. You know, we mean we mean business. Now, you know, for, for a lot of audiences, they are warned about uh, watching on Blink Twice about uh, abuse. Could could you talk about uh, the the concept of abuse, uh, you know, through through this film? Because of, obviously for, for some people, it is it is hard to watch. Yeah, it is. It, it is challenging to watch. And that's why, you know, there is a disclaimer on the movie. And, and that's really smart and really important that, you know, the movie itself did that to protect audience members. Um, but yeah, there's there's an element of the abuse of power, of the abuse of, of women, of the biggest fear that a woman has. And also, you know, for a lot of men, this is also one of their biggest fears to become that, right? Um, and it does. It, it does showcase it um and talks about it and I think the important thing of this movie is that it is a movie that you leave the theater and you want to keep talking about it and it opens doors to powerful conversations well it's excellent well and and real fast just to just to wrap things up how do you how do you mentally get through um you know the tough scenes like that you know, those scenes were really challenging, but, you know, I did have Zoe as a director, who's also an actor, as a support system. You have Naomi. And again, we lived in this hacienda while filming for two months. So the whole cast got, we knew what we were, what we were, where we were going with this. So all the guys became incredibly protective of the girls and, and, and 
created the space where we always felt safe. It was about the expression of this and they made us feel incredibly safe. So I think to answer your question, I think I got through it mentally and physically and spiritually because of the team that was around both Zoe as the director and the rest of the cast. We all went through it together and it well, it's excellent. Well, the I, I could tell the camaraderie was was excellent. Thank you very much uh, for speaking to. Uh, Thank you.